Hi Leo, here is uh, here I am reporting to you from another little space on wheels. Uh, this one is also of a box-like proportion, but um, it's more stationary than the others. Uh, at the moment it's quite echoey and quite empty. And uh, there's you, me, a couple of tables and, a, and of course um, the camera and a pillow and an exercise ball and uh, yeah. I think I'm going to keep it like this. So anyway, um, I want to talk about Saturn uh, because of the Saturn-Neptune Neptune transit and there is another video out uh, that I've just done on just Saturn and Neptune. Um, fleshing it out, broadening it out into other areas and, and including the EU referendum um, and also other situations where we might have to make a, 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 a sort of a serious, um, momentous, even historical decision like the uh, US election. Although some people might think it's a foregone conclusion. Um, uh, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, as we say here, or as they say here. So, um, okay, and... Uh, Saturn. Um, but before I get to that, just briefly, this is a quieter time for you most of this month, up until, up until, well, it begins to get more sort of lively from about mid-month onwards, but there's still, a, uh, there's still quite a bit of you on an inward level, um, maybe focusing more on the roots of your life, family, f you know, family affairs, um, historical sort of traditional roles, maybe, um, parents, um, or parental type situations, uh, also uh, going inwards um, and uh, being more ref self-reflective, um, introspective, that kind of thing. Um, and also a preoccupation with this or that or the other thing um, and the home base. So it could be about property for some of you, I guess, although you won't be feeling really sociable, I don't think, until um, the 22nd onwards. Um, even though Mercury and Venus go into your sign, so it's like there are social situations that you have to um, uh, join in with maybe, but because the Sun, which is your ruler, is still in the background area up until the 22nd, then you're probably going to be feeling um, that there's a part of you that just isn't there. You know, you're not fully engaging because that's the area of the imagination, it's the area of harking back to the past, maybe it's the area of like your inner world and the worlds beyond as well in a spiritual sort of sense. It's also the area, area of self-nurture or nurture, shall we say, either for yourself or you are there as a support and very much the position of the Sun, Mercury and Venus up until just before mid-month is all about support whether that is support for yourself coming to you or coming to you from you, it can always be like that. Um, uh, and given the current transit of Pluto and also what's going on with Saturn at the moment, it, it could be like that. Um, and 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 you as 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 the as the sort of um, underpinning others situations as well. Um, that demand coming at you just that little bit more and that's been going on since uh, June. Um, probably in the latter part of June you would have been feeling that. So, um, okay. Now, um, but there will be a connection with the past maybe um, and also a feeling of um, his history or harking back to the past, that kind of thing. And, and you are more coming from deeper levels, you're feeling a little bit more sensitive, you're more easily touched by your feelings, okay? Um, and then um, they move, as I say, just before mid-month, Venus moves on the 12th, Mercury moves on the um, 14th, and so that pulls you out into more sort of social um, engagement, interaction, being more in the information flow of things, having to keep 
happy to keep up <laughs> with what's going on um coming out you know coming coming out of like your 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 right brain area and and more into that logic but kind of hopping probably between the two areas really so some of the times you are very much feeling as though you just want to withdraw and be on your own a bit more and and other times you have to be in that flow now some of you might not take it like that some of you who are very gregarious um may not may not notice that the sun is still in this very introspective personal sort of space background area but others of you will so um it's, it's very actually creative um you're, you're known to be a creative sign but actually with the sun there and also before the 12th and the 14th mercury and venus there that's a great time for tapping into that raw material of the collective unconscious of your creativity of your imagination um, and again, given where Saturn is with uh, close to Neptune at the moment, a good time for then realizing a vision, realizing, making it real, making it happen, whatever it is, or maybe you're part of um, a bigger thing that's rolling towards uh, manifestation and realization. Uh, maybe it's something bigger than you are. So th th that's the kind of feel of it. Now to get back to the Saturn thing, you know, um, I mentioned last month, um, and maybe I mentioned it the month before, I can't remember now, but you, you, you Leos are having this long transit of Pluto going through your area of health, work, service, that sort of area. Some of you may have been feeling it more in the area of work, some in the, in the area of health. Um, and, and of also being there to provide a service in whatever way you do that, whether it's um, putting tarmac on roads or doing people's nails or indeed filming videos for YouTube. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing is to be there because there's a need there um, that you are fulfilling and you have to put your own... Um, desires on one side and your own preferences maybe on one side in order to fill that gap be be there f for for that need in the community in in the larger collective whatever it is now at the moment the planet that rules that area even though pluto's transiting through it it also has a, a natal ruler in your case would be saturn um, Saturn rules the um, rules the bones, by the way, and Leo rules the back, the spine. So some of you could have noticed troubles with your back. Sometimes Leo also rules the heart. Um, Saturn is about restriction and constriction, and, and and so you know always make sure you have a lifestyle that looks after your heart. You Leo people, this is probably even more important for Leo rising. What I'm saying here rather than just Leo sun people. So those of you listening to this with Leo rising, um, Muhammad Ali, who just um, passed over and what a blessed relief release that was, um, highly thought of all around the world. He was a Capricorn with, the, with Leo rising. So the Leo rising, because Capricorn could be quite in, introverted and just quite serious and po-faced, but the Leo rising is the showman you know, is the performer, um, is the colourful, uh, um, uh, th th is colourful and theatrical. So um, he could take the limelight. In fact, he, you know, with, with that bright sun shining down on him, he, he would have loved that. But then he had that other side, which was the, actually I ought to do a video on this, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, anyway, I'm taking up your time here, but... Um, he had that other side which we didn't see so much because Leo rising people are very good at bling and camouflage like you know the show must go on put on the slap put on the makeup put on that face that you keep by the door or at least Eleanor Rigby did and 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 step out there on the stage no matter what is going on but then he had this other side which uh, the sun burning brightly in his house of service also his house of skill um, and uh, that would have been in uh, Capricorn um, so he was highly skilled but also he was understanding I from certain accounts I've, I've heard about him 
um, to and compassionate toward, towards others, uh, um, and he fulfilled a service. He he came from quite a high place. <clears throat> Actually, I need to look at his full chart, but I just remember that from years and years and years ago when I was looking at his chart for some unknown reason. So anyway, there was a Leo rising person who actually, um, and you could see the, the, the kind of the black cat in him almost in the way he looked and, and he moved, his very direct gaze, you know, nobody's getting one over on me. I mean, Leo's pride, it was there sort of burning in his eyes, but then he had this other side to him. Yes, so... Um, I was going to say missed, sadly missed, but he's been sadly missed for 30 odd years now, you know, because he's been in this last round of this really, really tough fight um, in his life. And uh, he was the one who said, always stand up to go in to do the 15th round, um, no matter what you feel like. And that's, I guess, what he was doing. So Leos aren't quitters, Leo rising or, or Leo sun people. So you ain't quitters, you, you're a fixed sign. So um, you, you will keep on keeping on, um, especially a Capricorn Leo, uh, which he was. So anyway, I've gone and digressed again. I'll, tr I'll pull that back um, and get to where I was. So talking about this long transit of Pluto, which might mean that you have to dig down very many layers to get to the truth of the health problem, or the reason why you're here, or the type of work you're doing, or the sort of skills that you should really get practiced in um, and train in, of course. Um, but the area natally is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is at the moment close, very close by a degree to Neptune. Um, so that might mean that this um, uh, there's some confusion around um, that maybe it's harder to get solid evidence. Um, maybe it's to do with a health situation. Maybe it's to do with a work situation. Um, it could even be to do with a, a possible shared interest or sharing type situation or joint contract. So some things could be um, up in the air um, and or, or just unclear. Um, so one is trying to pull the sort of, it's almost like it, it, Neptune is very difficult to interpret because Neptune comes from dimensions beyond really. Um, its principle is about the abstract or um, um, unity, so, sort of like um, spiritual unity, or, or even weightlessness. So it's a bit like things are floating around this cabin um, because I'm in, a, I'm, I'm out of gravity, and I'm trying to pull thing. You know, I'm strapped down in the chair, so that's net, that's Saturn. But I'm trying to pull together, you know, maybe the bits of my lunch that are floating around. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, so that Saturn is solidity and 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 const constructs structures, and and Neptune is stuff that's floating around and and is very random and sometimes chaotic, but um, also there are you can get great uh, amazing insight from um, things Neptunian. So anyway. Um, certain aspects are just unclear at the moment and it might be necessary to probe or dig deeper whether it's a health situation um, keep going get clearer because of the evidence that's coming in but it's, it's likely to be very very slow until the end of this transit which isn't going to be until um, well the end um, the end of July really so um, uh, yeah, and then um, the thing is, with Neptune and Saturn, um, Saturn likes to keep things very business-like, you know, get everything written down in triplicate and abide by the rules and the regulations. Uh, and I mean, very much Saturn is to do with authority type figures, maybe, um, you know, uh, figures in positions of power, uh, the rule, the status quo, the rule of law. So one's got to try and marry that together 
with one's amazing imaginative ideas or visions or you know ideals um and 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 then you've got a green light you know if you if you can manage to integrate those two things there but in the meantime one might get led astray uh, by what others are trying to get us to believe really um and it's quite difficult to be perceptive enough to sort of cut through that as i might call it crapola um and um see the truth of the matter so really it's go with the gut it's it's go with the inner kind of knowing um uh, and and not rely on the pundits and the information that they're giving because it's very incomplete um you could blame it on this transit uh, that the right people aren't able to step forward and make their voice heard um, uh, because this this transit is about m muddying of the waters and muddle um, and and lack of focus you know uh, so and it's going to be that way until um, yeah I mean actually it's going to be that way for a while it's going past the end of June in fact so um, it's going it's going um, it's going over July as well so there can be misunderstandings anyway so um I thought I would talk about that one there. And Saturn, of course, can bring confusion related to children and young ones in your life as well, maybe in a sort of joint interest sharing sort of situation, or maybe it's not like that at all. Maybe they're involved and you're just standing on the outside looking at it. Um, uh, uh, and it can mean that there is um, a need for you to get more organized, get your ducks in a row about anything to do with the anything to do with a speculative um, investment uh, activity or leisure activities you've got to try harder to schedule times to have fun or times to um, do something creative you know maybe through the arts or, or um, something that for you is creative anyway whether it's through through the arts or not you've got to really be strong about how you manage your time you see and pace yourself because Saturn rules time and Saturn's going to be there until the end of 2017 anyway so also you've got Mars at the root of your chart skeletons, skeletons uh, rattling in the closet sometimes but also the home base property matters that's all maybe needing decision and energy to to pursue it to go after it you see and then there is uh, Jupiter in your area of the piggy bank. Not a bad place, actually, this. Uh, even though it's not in a strong aspect to your, your sign, it's a pretty good place. And so that'll be there until September 2016. Uh, um, means that you can capitalize on an asset or assets, whether they are like external to you or your, your, your own inborn innate gifts and talents. And then you can get those trained and, 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 and get your little bit of certificate about them um, and sort of, you know, um, down the line it can it could do uh, stand you in good stead um, and you you could uh, also find that um, something just pops up out of the blue and an invitation comes your way to sort of strut your stuff and somebody really appreciates what your capability is and and then that can lead to great things so um, uh, you have to f think positively about um, basic resources now and um, really um, this is helping you to um, uh, expand and broaden and learn and grow through matters around um, property but also your own talents and of course that would include um, in incomings as well and uh, all, all, all aspects of finance anyway whether that's your re regular income which could improve over this time whether that's an op opportunities as I say doors opening to to suddenly get get something landing on your lap out of the blue um, you Leos and that doesn't have to be money it can be like something useful to that you can use as well um, so Leo is born 7th to the 15th of August or with 16 to 23 degrees rising going to feel that energy the most this month although if you're born on just you know either side of that you'll still be feeling it pretty pretty much um, and over the whole of the sign will feel it but 
that's right near the degree and then uh, for Saturn you Leo is born the uh, 31st of July to the 4th of August or with 9 to 12 degrees why is it going to feel that energy the most um, this forecast period and uh, that's it for July um, uh, if you know your rising sign your moon sign listen to those and I'll be doing um, your birthday month next month um, you can read this material it's written up on dianagarland.com if you're interested and I'll see you the next time